Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in with me when I post these videos. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for always watching. I really, really appreciate the support and I really appreciate the views. Also, the thumbs up, the comments I get, and please don't forget to subscribe also. Anyways, so today's video is about how I do my brows. How I wax my brows, actually. But you don't necessarily have to wax your brows to do your brows. You can also use tweezers. But I figured for me, waxing my brows is easier. But I'm going to show you two different ways you can do your brows. Either with tweezers or with the wax. I'm pointing that way because my wax is like right there. <laughs> but I'm going to wax also different parts of my face. So like right here, here. I like to get rid of the hairs that I have there. So yeah, it's gonna be a tutorial on how I do my brows and how I wax certain parts of my face. Um, I am gonna tell you step by step how to do either the tweezer or the wax. Also, quick note, this is my natural hair. I just washed it yesterday. This is how it is without straightening it, without washing it. I have I have people asking me like, oh, what does your natural hair look like? Is it straight? No, actually, it's weird. Like it's straight here. It has its wave here. It does a pretty little mermaid thing when it wants to. Besides that, yeah, this is, this is the, this is, yeah, this is Amelie's hair. Amelie's Peruvian hair. And Miley will not be joining us today because my family is in the living room eating, or in the dining room eating, and when Miley sees food, she doesn't care about me, I don't matter to her, so I close my door too because I don't want the noise from out there coming in here or I don't want me doing all of this they're gonna be like who is she talking to like let's get into the video and thank you for watching all right so first things first this is my wax kit I don't want to tilt it too much because the wax is hot this is the wax kit I think I got it on. no I know I got it on eBay for like ugh. It's like 20 bucks roughly. I, I didn't feel like I needed to invest in a big fancy wax kit, so I got the most basic one. I've had it for about two years, so I don't remember where I bought it from. Right now I'm just mixing the wax. I don't remember where I bought it from, so I will actually search up wax kit, a cheap wax kit, or maybe the one that's similar to this one. And I will put it in my description box below so you guys can get one. Also, another thing you're going to need is this has seen your tongue depressors, but I just like Googled popsicle sticks and I'm, what is it called? Yeah, medical popsicle sticks. And I, I ended up getting senior tongue depressors, but I Googled it and I think I bought that for like five, five or maybe 10 bucks. Um, it was a box of 500 and I've had these for two years. So another thing you will need is tweezers. I'm pretty sure we all have these. If you don't, get some. Um, I like the tweezers that have like this angle shape because you can really angle it to your face or your skin and pull it versus having the little pointy ones. I don't really think those really help very much. Also, you are going to need either a brow gel or an eyeliner. I like to use a liquid liner that I'm not going to use anymore. For example, this one that the name rubbed off. I think it was from like Ambassador or something like that. Um, but I use the liquid liner to really line my brows. So I will be doing the Chola brow. And then I guess it's like, yeah, like filling or drawing in some lines and wherever the extra hair is and it's not inside those lines and that comes off so it's like more of like my guideline you will also need a spoolie so you can either use like a little brow brush thing or you can use a spoolie i like to use a spoolie it's just to comb your brows and make sure they're in place optional if you have long hair like me so my brow hairs grow up and then down so i usually comb them down here and then and then i cut wherever it is really really long hair my hair gets really long on my brows it's so weird but if you have short brow hairs you don't need this again you also don't need to wax if you don't feel comfortable waxing yourself um, you can still do the liner and like the guideline thing and then if you have time just like tweeze 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 wherever you feel like you need but you're definitely gonna need like a mirror that it's like it's like an up close mirror like this one. You're gonna need that so you can get like every individual hair. That's if you want to. Um, I like to wax, so I'm gonna show you how I wax. If you do not like to wax, just use a tweezer and just 
go ahead and do that. I also have like a little, little brow, not brow, but little brow bone space. So I take my, my senior tongue depressors, my popsicle, and I split it down the middle. So they're not always going to come out even, but they come out like this. And I look for the side that is like the best space. So something like this. And then I would use like a bigger side like that for like if I'm going to wax this side of like my face. Because I do have a little bit of peach fuzz here and I don't like it. So I get rid of that. Uh, and then I use this to angle here. So usually the rounder side, I would angle here. And then this, I would do it here so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm about to do I already mixed my bra uh, my wax um, be careful to put it on right away because it's very 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 hot I have made that mistake of just like effort putting it right on and I burnt my skin so I like to disconnect it out of the the plug thing or whatever and I let it like cool off a little bit I mix it and then when it's like let me show you but it's not like a liquidy texture because when it's like very hot, it'll be like super liquidy and it'll just drop. When it's like this waxy texture, that's when you want to put it on. Like thicky. Thicky, is that even a word? I'm going to go into my wax this side. going to dip. And it'll look something like this. I like to twist it and turn it around so it can get into its place and hold. And then I will apply it. First things first line it let me put my hair up because i don't want any wax in there or to get caught there and it has happened to me before so i'm gonna comb my brows so like i said you have to know how your brows your brow hairs grow some people's brow hairs grow all the way up like down up mine grow weird like they don't even grow up they grow to the side and then here is when they start to grow down so i like to comb that then I just put it in its place of how I want it to be. And then I start lining. So it's just really like drawing your brows like if you were going to do them. Um, if you do a mistake, you can always just clean it up with like a. I actually like to use like oil when I'm gonna when I'm gonna um do this waxing thing because the oil gets rid of the uh, gets rid of the the makeup here. So this is how I normally like to have my brows. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now if you have a brow gel, just outline your brows as if you were going to do them. You don't have to fill them all the way in. Now this brow here isn't even like this one, so I'm going to try to make that even. So that same brush that had that oil in there, I'm just going to use that to clean. Okay, so now they're even, like the way I like them. And now I'm going to do the wax. Remember how I told you guys the skinny side? Just gonna grab the wax, twist to get the little like stringies to attach. Gonna hold my eyebrow down and I'm just gonna place it. And I'm gonna go under that line. dip and I twist yeah this is like what I do and then I shape it on my brow see this is a little bit too much so I'm just gonna on the edge just like slide it off like that all right so this is perfect the perfect amount I'm gonna do it on this side now I really want to match like that line of where that is. Oh, I got some on my nail. 
This is hard wax. It's not that soft wax. So what I used was hard wax. Hard wax is going to it's going to get hard like this and you don't need those strips to like take it off. So I like the hard wax. I'm going to leave the link down below also of like hard wax that you can get. So it's much cleaner. You don't need extra stuff. And then you just got to touch the wax and once you feel like it's like candy, like hard candy, then you can pull it off. So when your if your brow hairs are growing, let's say left, so my left to right. So my left to the right, then you always want to pull the hair against the grain. So I would be pulling it towards the left. But if your hair is growing right to left, you're going to pull it to the right. So you want to go against the grain. It'll take really really pull it out. So my hair is going from here here like this. The little follicles are here and the hairs are there so I'm gonna pull from where the hair is in this direction I'm gonna pull it the other way around so I like to avoid pain so I stretch it out and I start to lift and I fast and I stretch a little bit so that it doesn't hurt as much so I'm gonna go back into my wax and I stretch so I can get as precise as possible Sometimes I'll add again, but I want to pull this one out, so again, against the grain, stretch. Let me see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the little hairs, but I pulled them out. If you choose not to do the wax and you just want to tweeze, you would just do the same and stretch. So stretch, pull out wherever you have hair, and that's it. But I feel like this method is faster. So now I'm going to do the top part of my brow. And let's just do this brow for like time purposes. You're going to end up doing the same thing on this side, but... And then I spread it outward because I do want to get rid of that hair that's on my face. So I spread it outward like that. If you get like these little stringy things, don't worry because those are usually dry and it's not going to like affect or get onto anything else. So you could just push them back into the wax. So stretch, pull the lip. I call this the lip. And just pulled out the hair. There are a couple of little pieces that I need to tweeze, but I'll just do that with the tweezer. Can you see it? I hope you can. But whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the wax. Now at this time, like the wax is starting to like cool off way too much. I think I'm gonna have to plug it back in. So while this is drying, I'm going to go and plug in the wax so it can get a little warmer. Okay, so while this is, this is already dry, but while the wax is heating, I am going to pull this off and then just do a little bit of tweezing here, the little extra hairs. So against the grain, remember. And now this is just like, a, I use this brush actually for my loose powder, so it's just translucent. I'm just using the whatever, I guess the extra stuff that I have there, just to get rid of that little extra little hairs that are just probably flying around there, laying there. Okay, I think my wax is ready, so let me go get that. Yes, my wax is ready. That's very liquidy, so that means that's like really, really hot, so I'm not going to put that on my face. Also. Let me just clarify, I'm not an esthetician, so if I'm doing certain things wrong, do not come at me and say, oh, you're doing this wrong. Listen, I just do my own thing. This is how I feel like it works out for me, so thank you. So far, I think this part is good. I'm going to go over again on this side of my face, and I actually want to get rid of these little baby hairs, so I'm going to be going in with 
the thicker stick and you're gonna see how I remove all of that. Oh, this is the most painful one, but... Whew, okay, ready? Oh, my God. Whew. Ah! Woosa, woosa. So you see how red my face gets? This is why I didn't want to do the intro after I did this. I'm so smart. I'm going to do this side off camera because I just feel like I gave you guys a good tutorial here. I don't want to make this video super, super long either. Okay, so <laughs> now that I'm back, I tweezed what I had to tweeze um, and I waxed what I had to wax. And you guys saw me do that on this side. Now, I do have a little cotton ball that is now like a cotton flap. Um, I added a little bit of water and then I used agave like shine spray just to remove this that guideline that I made actually let me use a makeup wipe I don't really go wash my face right after this but for YouTube purposes and then sometimes after you take it out you see like places where you're like oh I have to tweeze here so I feel like I have to tweeze right over here and you just comb them. And now this is how I wanted my brows to look. They look so nice and clean. Of course, I'm still gonna fill them in um, with brow gel and all that. But remember how I said that my brow hairs grow really long? Yeah, see, I need to trim right there. If you don't have long brow hairs or you don't wanna trim them, you don't have to, but I like to do so. And I have a little scissor and I have a little spoolie. So I just press down and trim so yeah this is how I wax my face I wax tier 2 wax tier so I'm not that furry how I wax my face my brows my oh my upper lip so I hope this came helpful to you maybe you will start waxing or maybe you already do and now you'll use my method and Ugh, I have all these little hairs all over my face. I'm gonna go wash my face and I will see you next time. Let's see what next time holds up. Oh, and do not forget to enter my giveaway. I'm giving away a 72 lipstick holder. It's an acrylic lipstick holder. Um, go to my previous video, which is the how I organize my makeup vanity, my uh, tour. Um, and also go on my Instagram, V-I-V-A-L-A-A-M-Z and all the information for entering this giveaway is there. So go look for the picture of me holding my, my cute little uh, giveaway gift that I have over here for you guys. So go make sure you go like that picture, enter, do what you gotta do. Again, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go clean my face now because this redness is ridiculous. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!